What's good, my friends? Tony here. We are all back to Heavy Rain Adventures. Actually, I'm playing this, um, <clears throat> excuse me, just moments ago when I recorded the last part where we will have to choose to kill Ethan in order to save Sean and... Wow! I still hope I did the right choice, I did the right thing and even if I didn't, I love this game. This is an amazing game, it's an amazing experience. It just... I'm so emotional right now, I want to know what's going on, I want to know who is the killer, I want to know where did they get it right or wrong and... <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I just cannot talk <laughs> anymore. Um, so, yeah, last time we played as Ethan and we didn't take that poison to kill ourselves, so we have a little bit more time to save Sean, maybe maybe like an hour more. And today we are <coughs> playing as uh, Jaden Norman. Norman Jaden? <laughs> wow, I need to calm myself down. So yeah, we are back to Norman and let's let's just play it. Solving the puzzle. Oh yes. Yes, please. Wait, let me check if I'm actually recording this. I do. So yeah, let's do this. So now we have Jaden to solve the puzzle, and I also believe in medicine. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! God. You know what's funny? How the journalist discovered the killer's name? All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Is it me or is there something between them? Oh, great. Don't do this. Right. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Thank you, Alfred. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Alfred. So, yeah. I do feel like Blake will miss Jaden, and I think. There is something between Jaden and Blake. I don't know. Maybe they're just emotions, but maybe something more. Anyway, uh, isn't it funny that the journalist, Madison, uh, discovered the origami killer's name before the police, before the FBI agent? I mean, Edison is smart, Edison is good. So, yeah, just wanted to say it. It was funny. Anyway, let's see. Let's see for clues. Hmm. 
Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Yes. Let's analyze. So this guy looks like Scott. Am I right? Play analyze. He's big and has the same body structure, like the same body height and weight. The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Right? Oh, so you can choose a particular part of the recording and yeah, I understand it, okay. So there's nothing to do with the sword. That's again, goddamn sword. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Huh. <gasps> oh. Really? Really? So the. Those watches are from. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. The killer is an ex cop. Right? It's Yappie Kaye, right? Okay, um, let's review the game. Yeah, we already did that. Um, play. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Let's find out. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Yeah, I would say that it's Blake, but, you know... Okay, no data for geoanalysis. Um, Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Analyze. Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. Man, I love playing those games. Okay, geoanalysis. Maybe. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. 324 EM. We have no time to like identify all of them. 
origami figure and it's a dog let's analyze So you aren't going to say anything about it, Jaden. Any G analysis? Mm. You have never checked that goddamn origami shop, dude. Like why? Why? <clears throat> anyway, orchid. Analyze. Yes, see what it's all about. Geo analysis. Yeah, lots of places. Lots of places. Where's the orchids? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. There's only one cop in that geo profiling zone. Gotcha. What? I mean, he owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Wait, what? I mean, feels a shaking in my controller. Um, so it isn't Blake, right? What? Ah! Hold on, John. I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. Wait, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play this and I, I don't know if uh, the game will can uh, will uh, allow me to continue to play since this moment, but I guess it will. Um, so... Hmm. Or maybe I should just, you know, continue. Yeah, let's continue. L let's see what it's all about. Ah... Uh, I think uh, that's how we learn the killer's name and I think that's where we will learn the killer's name because this guy is pretty much the future killer unfortunately and yeah let's find out let's find out um, hold on bro I'll find someone then we'll come back and save you Need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. Yeah, what to do? Like Mom's work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. Dad? Dad. I've gotta get Dad. He's the only one who can save John. Gotta move. Yeah, but where? Why? I mean, I don't even remember where where is the leaf. Like, um, what to do? Let me just. This place is completely deserted. There's no one around to help. All right. I've gotta find someone. The water's <clears throat> still rising. John yeah. won't be able to hang on for long. Dad, Dad. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pond. Oh, get jumping. out of here, you little pest. Leave me alone. Gotta come, Dad. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna what die, Dad. What did I Dad. tell you? Scrap. <laughs> Damn, bro. It just... Please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. Orchids. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. Don't forget 
back to Scotty. Scotty, yes. Scotty does know. Scotty does know. Scott Shelby is the origami killer. I don't want to say I can't blame him, but this is just a terrible mess. This is just a terrible experience as a child, and it's just... Scott Shelby, our hero without a cape, is an origami killer. And here he is, there he is, and it certainly will be a new chapter, a new episode. Yeah, so now we know, now we finally know, and it's a matter of time, a very short time to... To discover, to understand, to just save Sean Mars, and I'm honestly, I honestly don't have any idea who will save Sean, and will there be a happy ending? But at least, at least, we have all of our four characters, main characters, playable characters, alive, and now it's going to be a a huge drama revealing. I'm satisfied. I was correct about this. And frankly, I was like suspecting Scott for a very long time. I was kind of confused. I was thinking maybe it's him, maybe it's not him. But I think when he, he was like so hesitating when he and Lauren get to the, uh, get to the cemetery, he was so uninterested in this case that I was like, dude, why? Why are you even, like, trying to solve this case? And my only question now is whether Scott is the one who actually kidnapped Lauren's son? Because if that's the case, it's just horrible. It's just horrible. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one because I certainly did. I loved it. I love this episode. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, I appreciate you all. If you have any questions, comments, please leave some message down below section under this video. Have a great day. Enjoy your life. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.